Would you like to know how to narrow in on your target audience by using Facebook custom audiences? In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of Facebook custom audiences and how you can use them to get in front of your ideal clients. As a gift for watching this video, drop me a line below and I will give you a 14 day free trial of Reply Ninja AI and I will personally help you set up your first Facebook ad and follow up sequence inside the system. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Eric Transu and I help real estate agents and lenders easily launch pipeline filling, lead gen campaigns that work for them 24 seven, freeing up time so they can actually enjoy life while still turning leads into consistent conversations, clients, and closings. In every single video, I'm going to give you strategies you could use in your real estate business. In today's video, I'm going to show you why you should be using Facebook custom audiences to get in front of your ideal clients. Um, now, for those of you guys who don't know what Facebook custom audiences are, Facebook custom audiences are these groups that you could create either by using Facebook's data or your own that you could then use to run your ads to. So you could say, hey, run this ad to this group of people here, which is your custom audience. Now, the great thing about custom audiences is you can create all these different ones either from stuff that you upload to Facebook or based off certain things people are doing on Facebook. So let's say they like your page, you could add them to a custom audience, um, which is gonna prevent when Facebook makes changes. And so Facebook will also often make changes, especially when it comes to real estate and political stuff. So for instance, a couple of years ago, if you were targeting people on Facebook, you could run it to a very fine audience. So you could say, hey, give me a one mile radius around this address here. Facebook has changed that since then, so now the the tightest radius you could go to is a 15 mile radius on a housing ad. So not very narrow, 15 miles is a broad area, especially if you're farming or, or trying to target a very specific neighborhood or complex. So that's gone away, but the way to get around that is to use custom audiences. So let's go ahead and jump into the Facebook ads manager so I could show you some custom audiences and what they look like. So let me go ahead and click over here. And so I'm in the audience section of the ads manager here. And you can see I have some audiences set up here right now. But the way you would create a Facebook custom audience is by clicking this blue button here, it says create audience. And then there's a couple different options here. You got custom audiences, lookalike audience, and saved audiences. So a saved audience is using data from Facebook to create your audience. So for instance, if I click saved audience, I could come in here and I could choose, you know, locations, I could search, you know, I want all English speaking or Spanish speaking. I want all men or women. I want certain ages. Now with housing ads, you can't modify much of this stuff. They won't let you target specifically men, women, different age groups. So you won't be able to use that, but you could also come in here and, you know, let's say first time, let's see if this will pop up for me here, you know, first time buyers in real estate. So I could, I could click that, but you could click create these audiences based off stuff that Facebook already knows about people here. Now, what I wanna focus on today is because in those saved audiences, a lot of times those options will disappear. So one day you'll type in first time home buyers, it will be there. And then maybe two weeks down the road, they, they find out that someone's abusing the system and so they take it out of there. So I like to create these custom audiences, which is the top one here. So when you create a custom audience, you have a bunch of options for creating these custom audiences. So let me just, I'll jump into a few of them here, dive into them yourselves, or if you have questions, hop into my Facebook group or ask me questions below this video, depending on where you're watching it. Now let's uh, go ahead and choose this one. Let's do Facebook page. So if I choose a custom audience and then choose Facebook page, you'll see on this next one, I'm going to have options here where I can, let me just, I've got a lot of uh, Facebook pages I manage as you can see. Um, so I'm going to go to the page Facebook or real estate lead ninjas. And I could say everyone who's engaged with this page in the last 365 days, add them to this audience, okay? Or I could say everyone, anyone who's visited the page, or you know, there's a lot of different things. Anyone who sent a message to your page, who clicked on a call to action button. So you can see you could really fine tune into a very specific audience. So let's go ahead and get out of this one. Let's go to some other options here. So I'm gonna do custom audience again, and we could do website visitors. So I'm gonna click website, click next, and then it's gonna say, okay, everybody that visited the website, or if, they, if I wanted to do very specific pages, I could say contains, and then, you know, real estate lead ninjas.com schedule, you know, or if I had like a booking page and I wanna capture everybody that hit that booking page, or, you know, maybe this is on your website, you have an IDX site, and then, you know, once they sign up, maybe it goes to a success page, you could 
pixel or every add everybody who hit that success page into a custom audience and then you would just go ahead and name that custom audience here uh, something that you will recognize later so that's two of them there uh, another great one in here create a custom audience and you could do um, video views so I could say everybody that watched let me wait for this to pop up here in a second what did I do here custom audience sorry got something going haywire here let me refresh this page. Not sure what's going on. Might be my internet, but let's go ahead and try this again. Create a custom audience, and then I'm going to do video, and then next. And you can see here, I could say choose a content type, and I could say people who watch at least 25% of my video, and then I could choose whatever videos that I want to choose here. And so let me go to my Real Estate Lead Ninjas page, and I could just select this video here if I wanted to, or let me actually actually go to Eric Transu and I'll go to this one and I could select these two videos, which you may recognize the ones that I released in the last couple days. So I could add anybody that watched 25% of one of those videos into this custom audience as well, which is pretty cool. Let's uh, go through a few more before I wrap this up. So another custom audience here that you could do is a customer list. So let's say that you have a list from title. Um, you could go ahead and, you know, let's say your farm, you got a farm from title that you want to put in here, or maybe it's a past client list or, you know, a, a group of people that you want to target. Maybe it's your PTA from school or agents in your office, who knows, right? But you could create a custom audience of, of these people and you would create an uh, Excel file or a Google sheet and you would upload that here. Um, so let me, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. So I have a, just a test one here. So let's just pretend this is a farm. I only have my information in here. Then I'm going to come here. I'm going to say next. I'm going to say, does this cut? It's going to ask me, does the columns have a customer value? This is more for like if you run an e commerce site and each customer is worth a certain amount. I'm just going to click no here and then next. I'm going to upload a file and I'll just upload that farm test. I'm going to click next. And so it already uh, found the email and phone number. I do have a first name and last name in here as well. So I'm just going to go to this action needed tab and I'm going to change first name to uh, first name here and last name to last name and now everything is mapped and I'll say import and create it's going to upload that and then I'm going to say done okay so here's the farm test I would probably name it better when you do it guys so you know you could come in here and edit this and say you know farm area one or whatever your area name is for that farm and so now you have a custom audience here for farm area one. So if I want to run a very specific ad, whether it's a home value ad or a lead, um, you know, a listing ad or an open house ad to a specific farm, I could then start my ad up. And then when I choose the audience, choose this farm area as my audience for this ad. So hopefully you could see how powerful that could be. Another way to add people to your custom audience, since um, I know some of you watching this video are members of Reply Ninja. It's also built into Reply Ninja. So inside Reply Ninja, let's go to automations here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new automation inside of Reply Ninja. And you just do that by clicking create workflow. And then I just start from scratch here. And what you could do is you could add your trigger. So for people that have not used Reply Ninja before, trigger is what kicks off the workflow. So for this one, I'm just going to say a contact is created. But this could easily also be something like um, tag. So once a tag is added to a contact and I could filter down and say tag added, and then I could select whatever tag I want here. Okay, and I could save that trigger. So this contact tag right here, 30 day course, obviously you wouldn't use 30 day course, but I'm just gonna put this in here real quick just so I could see it in this section here. So when the tag 30 day course is added to a contact in my database, I can then say, add them to a Facebook custom audience. And then I could go ahead and choose the custom audience that I want to add them to. And I'm going to choose my account first. Most of you will just show one there. Like I said, I manage a lot of Facebook ad accounts, so I have a bigger list, but most of you will just have one in this list. And then once you do that, you could drop this down and say, Hey, anybody that I tag, add them to farm area one automatically. So then I save the action and anytime I put people in my database and apply a certain tag to them, they would then be added to that custom audience. So this is a really good way to make sure every time you add someone into your database, whether it's an open house visitor, SOI person, online lead, um, you know, lead that you meet in person from door knocking or cold calling, that they all get added to your custom audience so you can start targeting them um, on Facebook. Um, 
Let me show you one last thing before I wrap this up and show you how you could get a little more advanced with this stuff. And um, I'll create future videos on how to use custom audiences in an advanced way. So make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. If you're on Facebook or a member of my group, then you'll, you'll see it at some point. But let's say we got three videos that are posted on Facebook, okay? And we're running these on a business page because remember, you could only run ads from a business page. So let's say every time video one gets at least 25% or a person watches 25% of that video, we're gonna add them to custom audience one. And then let's say video number two, the target audience for this is going to be custom audience one. So the only people that see video two in this scenario are people that watch 25% of video one, okay? And then you could do something similar. You could say, this is custom audience two. And you could do the same thing. So if they watch 25% of video two, then they get out, added to custom audience two. And video three's target audience is custom audience two. So by the time someone gets over here to video number three, they've watched 25% of video one and 25% of video two. So let's say this was on home, the home buying process. Someone that watches, let's say these are four minute videos. Someone that watches one minute of this, at least one minute, and one minute of this is probably a home buyer or your mom or a friend of yours that likes all of your content. But you can see here, by the time you get over here to video three, this audience that you could create has shown some sort of interest in video one and video two. So you could put video one and video two in front of a cold audience. You could target everybody on Facebook in your area or your city or your zip code, and then start building this up where you're gradually fine tuning or narrowing down your audience in these, uh, from these ads by targeting people that are showing interest. So, okay, I watched 25% of video one, I made it to custom audience two or custom audience one. I watched 25% of video two, I'm in custom audience two. Video number three is now people that are probably interested in the home buying process. And then you got custom audience three, and you could go ahead and create a more specific ad here with you know some sort of call to action. You know, whether it's a buyer consultation, you know, get a list of homes, whatever it is, you could put that here, just a major call to action, and only show that to audience three, which has shown a huge interest in the home buying process because they've watched at least 25% of three videos specifically about the home buying process. So now this custom audience, <clears throat> excuse me, this custom audience three here is a really, really targeted audience that you've built up. So hopefully this makes sense. I'll do further videos going into this a little bit deeper, but hopefully this gets the wheels turning on what you could do by using custom audiences on Facebook. So, um, Hopefully, like I said, you understand this a little bit better after this video. Go back and watch it. I know I could talk a little bit fast sometimes and get a little confusing when I dive into this, but it's usually because I'm excited about the power of this and how great I know it could be for your real estate business. Now, if you would like a free trial of Reply Ninja AI, which I showed you here a little while ago, creating custom audiences there, uh, and I'm, you know, anybody that takes me up on that trial, I will hop on Zoom with you to set that up and actually set up your face first Facebook lead generation campaign and follow-up system. Um, if you're interested in that, drop me a line below um, and I will reach out to you to, to get a call set up for that. Um, thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're on Facebook or in my Facebook group, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'm always interested in knowing what kind of videos would be helpful to you in the future. Thanks.